The following video is part of an educational series of meth prevention educational training videos. This video was created and produced by MAP South Dakota, a project of Prairie View Prevention Services. Production costs for this video were provided by the South Dakota Real Estate Commission. Hello, I'm Dee Jones Nordemir, Executive Director of the South Dakota Real Estate Commission. As a real estate professional, you need to be aware of the possible property contamination problems and even dangers that you and your clients may face during the buying, selling, and rental of properties. In the next few minutes, you're going to be given some very important information about methamphetamine. You'll learn what meth is and how it can affect you and your business. Meth is closer than you think. The phone rings. You have a new listing or your renter has notified you that they're moving. If you own property or are in any way connected to property sales and rental, you need to know about methamphetamine. Do you remember seeing this on the news? People living on East 31st Street near Patrick Henry Middle School welcomed the presence of law enforcement this morning because they had a pretty good idea why officers were there. Oh, we all do. We know what's, we, we all assume that it's, they've been making meth over there. This neighbor, who didn't want his face shown, says the man living in this house the last few years was friendly, but very suspicious. You never know what's going on over there because the cars are coming and going and all hours and different license plates, different towns. And when officers started pulling out cans of propane, chemicals, and other ingredients for meth, the neighborhood's suspicions were confirmed. I mean, it was pretty indicative that they were making methamphetamine in the basement of the house. A big drug bust that'll lead to big charges. You're going to have, the obviously, the possession of the materials to make the meth. You're going to have the manufacturer of it. There could be the possession of the final end product. There could be distribution of it. Uh, we're close to school zones. That's going to be added into it. So there's a potential for quite a few charges. The strong smell of chemicals outside the house is what led officers to the meth lab inside. And when they're finished going through the evidence and get their man, this neighbor will be happy. Yeah, it, it is, it'll be nice to get him out of the neighborhood. What is methamphetamine? What does meth do to people? Would you recognize a meth user if you met them? What effect does the manufacture and use of meth have on property? Why is meth dangerous to you? If you own property that is contaminated from meth manufacturing, you are responsible for the residual cleanup, which can easily run into thousands of dollars. If the property is not cleaned up thoroughly and properly, many health risks may present themselves to your potential buyers or renters. Be proactive. If you suspect meth use or manufacturing, get the property tested for meth contamination. In any event, you can't afford to not know about meth. What is meth? Meth is an illegal, highly addictive synthetic stimulant. It can be smoked, snorted, injected, or taken orally. It affects the brain and the rest of the central nervous system. It has a high potential for abuse. It's easy to get the ingredients and make it. It is sold as a powder, in crystal form, or rock-like chunks. Because every person shows different signs and symptoms of meth use, the following information is not intended to be a checklist, but rather a reference. Instead, when you see these things in combination, or see things that just don't fit, investigate. Dilated pupils, rapid eye movements, and shadows under the eyes. Hypermotor activity. Needle track marks. Strong body odor. Severe nail biting. Dirty, greasy hair and hair loss. Bad breath. Tooth decay or loss. Pale skin, acne, sores, and scabs. Dark circles under the eyes. Extreme weight loss. Nosebleeds skin disorders around the mouth, impaired cognitive functioning, loss of memory and or concentration, manic depressive behavior, mood swings. Meth promotes the use of alcohol to combat negative feelings associated with tweaking. Meth use also creates an increased potential for violence and abuse. Some of the symptoms of meth use include severe depression, anorexia, psychotic behavior, hallucinations both visual and auditory, paranoia, delusions, suicidal tendencies. It's important to be able to recognize a meth user. An example would be if you're hosting an open house or if you're showing a property to prospective owners or renters. Meth users will sometimes go around to look at properties for sale or rent in order to raid the medicine chest for pseudoephedrine. You need to caution the property owner about leaving any kinds of medications where they might be available to the public during an open house. As you make your first walkthrough of that new listing, 
or you make your final check when a renter moves out, this is what you should look for to determine if meth was cooked at this location. Empty boxes of allergy tablets, pop bottles, unmarked glass jars with unusual liquids in them, rubber tubing, empty containers of engine starter, drain cleaner, gas treatment, paint thinner, reddish stained coffee filters, paper towels, cheesecloth, duct tape, lots of matchbooks, lithium batteries, abandoned coolers, strong unpleasant odors like pet urine coming from the property or an overwhelming scent of air freshener to mask odors. The tub, toilet, or sink are stained with foul-smelling and unusual dark-colored materials, stains on the carpets or walls, signs of chemical or acid burns or spills on floors or counters, propane tank with bright blue-colored valve, burn piles outside, dead or dying vegetation on grounds. Be sure to check the cupboards and closets and do a thorough inspection of the garage and the attic. If the previous owner or tenant was smoking meth, you might see a light bulb wrapped in a sock, razor blades, mirrors, straws, aluminum foil strips, punctured pop cans, all of which can be used for inhaling and smoking meth. If a user was injecting, you might find paraphernalia such as syringes, heated spoons, and surgical tubing. Contamination from the manufacture of meth will affect every corner of a home or apartment, including the walls, draperies, furniture, ceilings, vent and ceiling fans, carpeting, blinds, light fixtures, kitchen appliances, plumbing fixtures, drains, and heating and air conditioning vents. In an apartment building, the contamination can spread from the apartment where the meth was cooked to other apartments and areas of the building through common vents. Most known meth labs have had some sort of cleaning. This can involve getting rid of contaminated carpets and washing all surfaces with a 6% solution of sodium hypochlorite bleach. In homes that are severely contaminated, the walls may have to be stripped down to the studs and completely redone with drywall, plaster, and paint. Costs can run from $5,000 to $25,000, or in some cases, the property must be destroyed. But law enforcement estimates that they find only one in 10 labs. What about those homes used as meth labs that are never found by law enforcement? The previous owner or tenant may have tried to cover up any contamination by cleaning the carpet, painting the walls, washing down woodwork with regular commercial cleaners. But this kind of cleaning does not get rid of the contamination. Health hazards are still a definite possibility. You as a property owner or manager need to be aware of your surroundings when you enter a property. Look for the signs that meth may have been smoked or cooked there. Talk to the neighbors. Ask if they've noticed any unusual behavior at the property, such as lots of late night traffic, efforts to cover windows or doors, or any unusual security measures taken. Ask them if they ever saw any lab materials around the property, or smelled any strong or unusual odors. If you have suspicions, you can call law enforcement to see if there's been any activity at the property. But the best thing you can do is purchase an easy to use meth testing kit. There are many on the market, most of which are simply a matter of using a wipe on surfaces and then sending it into a lab. You will want to be sure that the test doesn't just give you a yes or no for contamination. You will need to know the levels in order to know how much and what kinds of cleanup must be done. Why is the manufacture of meth a threat to your personal safety? Every pound of meth that is manufactured leaves behind five to six pounds of toxic waste. This toxic waste may still be present in and around the property you have to rent or sell. Cooking meth creates hydriotic acid contamination on most surfaces. Both cooking and smoking meth leaves contamination on almost all surfaces. You can be exposed to these toxins and the contamination through inhalation, absorption through personal contact with contaminated objects, ingestion, or from a puncture or scrape. One of every six meth labs is discovered because of an explosion or fire. You may encounter someone at the property who has been using meth and is in the tweaking stage, the most dangerous time for a user. How can you stay safe if you do encounter someone you suspect of using meth? Keep your distance. Avoid bright lights. Slow your speech and lower your voice. Explain your actions. Make slow, deliberate movements and keep your hands visible at all times. Avoid upsetting them by arguing with them or demanding that they be silent. Keep the meth user talking. If you suspect anything, do not confront any person or persons who might be on the property. If you enter a property and you suspect it was used as a lab, do not open any containers, boxes, coolers, or bags. Do not shut off any electrical supplies. Do not touch anything. Leave the property right away and call law enforcement immediately to report what you have seen. So you think meth is not a problem in South Dakota? You may have heard that the number of meth labs busted has gone down. 
but that doesn't mean that there aren't still labs out there. Remember, estimates are that only one in 10 labs are ever found, and the amount of meth seized in our state continues to increase, so meth use is definitely not going down. The South Dakota Department of Corrections reported that in fiscal year 2008, inmates reporting using meth included 32% of male and 47% of female. Inmates with a primary diagnosis of meth addiction included 8% male and 26% female. Who uses, distributes, or manufactures meth? Almost anyone from the age of 14 to 80. Males and females. White collar and blue collar workers. Unemployed people. Working people. Parents. Grandparents. Students. Athletes. Teachers. Bankers. Farmers. Ranchers. Real estate agents. Almost anyone from the age of 14 to 80. Meth is closer than you think. It can be a nightmare for the property owner and for the real estate professional. It can destroy property and lives. Don't let it. Be aware. For more information on meth property contamination, remediation, testing and cleanup guidelines, visit MAPPSD.org. The video you have just watched is one of a series of meth prevention training videos created and produced by MAP South Dakota a project of Prairie View Prevention Services. Production costs for this video were provided by the South Dakota Real Estate Commission.